What if I told you that the difference between a cheap $5 oil filter and a $20 one could decide whether your engine lives or dies? Here's the surprising truth. Some low-quality filters let unfiltered oil flow straight into your engine, wearing down parts like bearings, camshafts, and pistons from the inside. One mechanic even cut open 10 popular filters from Amazon and found that half of them used cardboard instead of metal inside their cores. Yes, cardboard protecting your engine? So what really makes an expensive filter worth it? Is it just a brand name? Or are you paying for real engineering that can save your engine from a $3,000 rebuild? Stay tuned, because by the end of this video, you'll know which oil filters actually protect your car and which ones might be secretly destroying it. Section 1. Why the oil filter matters more than you think. Let's clear something up. Your engine oil is only as good as the oil filter you use. Even if you pour in the best synthetic oil available, it's useless if the filter can't trap the tiny bits of metal and carbon flowing through your system. Here's what happens every time you drive. Small metal shavings from engine wear, soot and carbon from combustion, dirt and tiny debris slip past seals and keep circulating. Without proper filtration, those particles move around like sandpaper inside your engine. The filter's job is to catch contaminants as small as 20 microns. That's smaller than a human hair. But here's the problem. Not all filters do this well. Cheap filters usually trap particles only larger than 40 microns, and worse, they can fail when oil pressure gets high. When that happens, your engine goes into bypass mode, letting unfiltered oil circulate just to keep pressure steady. Every second that happens, your engine wears out faster. Section 2 what's inside an oil filter, and what you're really paying for. Let's take a closer look. A typical oil filter has an outer shell that holds up against pressure, a filter media that traps dirt and debris, a bypass valve that opens if the filter clogs to prevent oil starvation, and an anti-drain back valve that keeps oil from leaking out when the engine is off. Now here's where the real difference shows. Cheap filters use paper or cardboard end caps and a thin cellulose filter media. Premium filters use metal end caps, synthetic or microglass filter media, and strong silicone valves that last for tens of thousands of miles. Why does that matter? Because synthetic filters can trap two to three times more dirt without clogging and keep oil pressure stable through the full oil change interval. A 2023 study by Automotive Research and Testing Labs, ARTL, showed that premium synthetic filters kept 99% filtration efficiency at 20 microns, while cheaper filters dropped to just 68% after 3,000 miles. That means about 30% of dirt in your engine oil slips right past a low-quality filter. Section 3. The Hidden Danger, Filter Collapse and Bypass Mode Here's something even many mechanics don't mention, filter collapse. Inside every oil filter, there's a paper or synthetic part folded into tight layers. Under high oil pressure, like during cold starts or hard acceleration, cheap filters can collapse inside, flattening the folds and blocking oil flow. When that happens, the oil pressure in your engine suddenly spikes and a bypass valve opens. That lets unfiltered oil rush into your bearings. This is why most camshaft bearing failures in high mileage engines happen in cars using cheap filters. The oil pump works fine, but the filter fails quietly. In one test by Project Farm, a Fram ExtraGuard filter actually crushed itself during a 150 degrees F pressure test at 80 PSI, while a Mobile One extended performance filter stayed strong. That difference can mean reaching 200,000 miles or losing your engine at 90,000. Section 4. Cheap versus Expensive. What's really inside? Let's talk about real proof. A well-known YouTuber and mechanic cut open 12 oil filters from popular brands. Here's what was found. The cheapest filters were often the same generic products with different labels. On the other hand, premium filters used pleat reinforcement, metal mesh backing, and thicker anti-drain back valves made from silicone instead of nitrile rubber. These upgrades aren't just for looks. They prevent oil starvation during cold starts and keep steady oil pressure when the engine is under stress. A 2023 study by ARTL showed that premium synthetic filters kept 99% filtration efficiency at 20 microns, while cheaper filters dropped to just 68% after 3,000 miles. That means about 30% of dirt in your engine oil slips right past a low-quality filter. Section 5. How Cold Starts Damage Engines and How Filters Prevent It 
experts say that about 80% of engine wear happens during startup. Here's why that's important. When you turn your engine off, gravity pulls oil back down into the oil pan. If your filter doesn't have a proper anti-drain back valve, the oil inside the filter drains out too. So the next time you start the engine, it takes a few seconds to rebuild oil pressure, and during that time your pistons, bearings, and cam lobes run dry. Over months and years, this causes serious damage. Filters with strong silicone anti-drain back valves found in premium brands like Wix XP, Mobile One, and Bosch Premium keep oil in place. So when you start your car, oil pressure builds instantly. This is why engines that use premium filters sound smoother during startup, while cheap filters often cause that dry ticking noise after sitting overnight. Section 6. Do expensive filters really last longer? Let's break it down by mileage. Budget filters last about 3,000 to 5,000 miles before clogging starts. Mid-range synthetic blend filters work safely up to 7,500 miles. Premium microglass filters can last up to 15,000 miles, the full life of extended drain synthetic oils. Modern synthetic oils like Mobile One Extended Performance or Amsoil Signature Series are made to last up to 15,000 miles. But that only works if your filter can last that long too. If not, your engine can go into bypass mode halfway through, circulating unfiltered oil while you think everything's fine. That's why manufacturers like Toyota, GM, and Honda recommend premium synthetic filters for long service intervals. When you stretch oil changes but use a cheap filter, you're not saving money. You're slowly shortening your engine's life. Section 7. Expert Opinions. What experienced mechanics say. Mechanics who have been opening and testing filters for decades all agree it's not about the brand name, it's about how well the filter is made. A retired GM master technician said, every failed bearing I've replaced had one thing in common, cheap oil filters or skipped oil changes. The oil itself wasn't the issue, it was poor filtration. Another ASC technician who tested more than 100 filters explained it simply, if a filter weighs less than half a pound, it's probably low quality. Lighter filters often mean less filter material inside, weaker valves, and thinner metal. Here's an interesting fact. Some of the best filters, like Wix XP and Mobile One, are made by the same manufacturer that builds filters for heavy-duty diesel engines. That's why professional mechanics trust them, even for performance cars. Section 8. The Counterfeit Filter Problem – The Silent Engine Killer Let's talk about something most people never think about fake oil filters. Yes, they exist and they're all over online stores. Counterfeit filters are made to look exactly like real ones. Same box, same logo, even matching barcodes. But the inside is completely different. Instead of strong steel casings, they use thin metal that dents easily. Instead of well-made valves, they use weak plastic or cheap rubber that cracks after a few heat cycles. The result? Engines using these fake filters often suffer from low oil pressure, faster wear, and sometimes total failure due to blocked oil flow. Mechanics have found fake filters with labels like Bosch, Mobile One, and AC Delco, even with fake serial numbers. Here's how to spot them. Check the weight. Fake filters are usually lighter because they have fewer metal parts. Look at the base plate holes. Real ones are clean and even, while fake ones often have rough or uneven holes. Check the gasket. Genuine filters have smooth, soft edges, while fakes look dry or poorly shaped. Always buy from trusted dealers or official stores. A mechanic from the Care Car Council warned that fake filters can lower oil pressure by up to 30%, which is enough to damage turbochargers or cause bearing wear in just a few thousand miles. So, remember this, your engine's life depends on the right oil filter. Don't go cheap, go smart. A quality filter keeps your engine alive for years. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and share it.